fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to kit up one of my want series of kits. I think it's going to go pretty fast but we'll see. So today I'm going to be kitting up Lady Luck by Romy Lerda. This is a Dreamer Designs. It is a round. It's only 40 by 50 so it's not huge. I've got six ABs. I'm just going to grab things and get started. I'm going to be putting this in a bottle case. So I've got my Bella Art bottle funnel here so that I can use that. I've got scissors. I've got my little trash can. So I think I'm ready to go. I have separated all the drills into their order number, which is by default DMC. That's just how I'm going to kit them up. So let me pull all of these stickers off here. I don't remember the last Dreamer designs that I did. I'm pretty sure it had stickers, but I don't remember, I don't remember them being this small. I don't know if I'm just misremembering or if this is, it's because it's a smaller kit or yeah, if it's just my faulty memory because I'm old. I debated whether I wanted to use my Elizabeth Ward for this or not, but I can never remember with Dreamer Designs if they're going to, the stickers are going to come off easily. So I figured I'd just use one that I know has washi tape on it and I'm good to go. All right. Oh, it helps if I put the bottle in there first, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't think that I'm going to have any of these where I'm going to need more than one bottle per color, but I guess we'll find out. Okay. And I've got 56 colors. So I've got four extra bottles because this is a 60 bottle case. But like I said, looking at everything, I don't think I'm going to have any colors that I need more than one bottle for. I can't wait to get started on this one. I have loved this kit as soon as I saw it, but it took me a while to actually buy it. Ooh, wow. There's almost no drills in this one. Look at this. Let me get them out of here and then I'll show you the bottle. What is that? Maybe 20 drills, if that. <laughs> That's almost nothing. It just took me a while to purchase it. And what actually made me purchase it was I saw somebody else complete it and I just really loved how it looked. Isn't it funny how sometimes you have to wait until you see somebody else that's done it before you're like, okay, yeah, I could see myself doing that one. Sometimes I think the pictures, the renderings are a little misleading. Some of the companies, they don't actually show you the actual kit. It's just, oh, this is of what we think it will look like when it's completed, which I get paying somebody to like complete a diamond painting just so that you have a picture of it maybe isn't very cost effective, but I always like to see it done first. Okay, so I guess for 310, I am going to need two bottles. Get this one. So I guess we'll see if I have any other colors. I didn't think I had any that would end up taking two, but maybe I'm wrong. All right, the number six, and then I need to put some more stickers on. I really love the colors in this kit, and I'm excited to get it kitted up and get it get working on it. This is one from my Want series. I've been focusing on my oldest kits, which is good because I want to get those done too, but some of them just aren't. I'm not as excited to work on as I am some of the ones on my want series. Okay, these stickers do not want to come apart. It's like they didn't get cut quite all the way through. Get these on here. I'm trying to get this done and get this kitted up today because <laughs> we're supposed to have some pretty severe weather tonight, which I guess by the time you see this, it will have been yesterday. So I'm sure it'll be fine. It is tornado season which I was just thinking about normally during the week, I film on Mondays. Usually on Mondays, I have to wait until afternoon because they do a tornado siren test. And I just realized today that they didn't do one, but that's because it is tornado season. So they don't want to panic people and have them think there is an actual tornado during tornado season which seems kind of funny. I remember doing that once tornado season hit and then having to do tornado drills with the kids at the preschool. 
tromping all the way downstairs to the basement, lining them up against the wall. My son and I were actually talking about that because he was saying that he thought buildings here where we live were built to be earthquake proof. And I laughed and said, of course they're not. Earthquakes aren't usual around here. But I said, houses around here are not built to be earthquake proof. In California they are, but not here. Just like houses around here are not built to be hurricane proof. And even, even though we have tornadoes, houses are not built to be tornado proof. It's just that most people around here have a basement so that if there's a tornado, you have some place to go to get away from the tornado in your basement. Crossing my fingers, I don't have to do that today. Hubby's out working in all of this weather. He's been having a rough time because it's been so windy, but it's also so dry that he's having a hard time with like allergies, hay fever, that kind of thing. Been an interesting couple of days so far weather-wise. Th I hate this time of year because the weather around here can't make up its mind. Sunday, it was literally 90 degrees here. We had to turn on the air conditioning. It was so hot in the house. Then it was supposed to get down into the 50s. And it was in the 60s when my son and I took our walk Monday morning, but it was so humid because we're supposed to get that rain. By the time we were halfway done, I'm taking off my sweatshirt and he's in sweatpants and a t-shirt and a hoodie. And I said, I don't know how you're wearing all that because he usually gets hot way before I do. He said it's because he likes to sweat when he's exercising. So he was fine wearing it while we were walking. Whoops, I almost did that wrong. I need number 12, got those out of order. Okay, I need number 12. Well, so far this is working out that I don't need more than one bottle for these. So that is good. It's also very windy out. I'm sure you guys can't hear it, but as I'm sitting here, I can hear the trees in the backyard just waving in the wind. You know, I told my husband the eclipse last week, is that just last week? Gosh, that seems like so much further ago than that. The eclipse, I didn't go outside and watch it. We, I didn't have any glasses and I was not interested, honestly, but I had heard on the radio that scientists were gonna be observing animals to see if animals acted any differently during the eclipse. And about the time the eclipse was happening here, we didn't get complete totality here where we live. So just whatever the max was gonna be. I looked outside, my neighbor behind me with the St. Bernard was sitting out in her yard. She had her little eclipse glasses on and she was watching. But when I opened the patio screen to look outside and when I saw her, I suddenly realized there's this huge squirrel sitting beneath our little chiminea on our deck, like he's hiding. And it was a big squirrel. I mean, we have squirrels all over because we have oak trees and big cedar trees behind our property line and everything. So we have a ton of squirrels. I had never seen one this big. And it was, it looked like it was hiding out underneath the chimney. And I was like, I wonder if that's what they mean by them acting weird. Cause I don't know if he was hiding. I don't know if something else had scared him. And so he just had ended up on the deck. He saw me standing there when I moved the curtains and that scared him too. So he ran off back into the trees, but it was just kind of funny. All right, I need more stickers. Man, these really do not want to come apart. It's like they didn't get cut all the way through, so they're still attached at the corners and I'm having to pull them apart to put them on the containers. Like they're coming out three at a time when I try to pull them off. I'm trying to make sure I keep them in order so that I don't confuse myself when I go to fill them up. So I've got almost two rows of drills done, of containers. I'm trying to make sure I don't rip them here. I don't wanna rip my stickers. All right, so that's to number 30, which means I'm over halfway, well, I will be over halfway once I get all of these in there. Ooh, that one's kind of big. Let's see if this all fits in one. Pour these kind of slow so they don't hop out here. 
Get them all in there? Ooh, I think so. Ooh, that was very close, but they are all in there. I spent some time today cleaning out my office, going through things. We gave those cubbies to my daughter and that meant I needed to kind of rearrange how my closet was because the cubbies were in the closet. That's what I was using for a bunch of storage. So I went through a bunch of that and reconfigured things, but I was going through a lot of like old school supplies and stuff like that. I used to buy paper kind of in bulk. <laughs> Anytime we would go to Walmart or Target or someplace like that during back to school season, I always buy pencils, notebooks, that kind of stuff, because my kids always needed them. I just have collected a lot of like office type stuff over the years. So going through a lot of that stuff today, so many highlighters and dry erase markers and pens. Of course, a bunch of old ones that don't work. So many pencils, which I'm, I'm hanging on to a few of them because my son may still need a few. I went through a bunch of my art supplies and gave my daughter a bunch of my art supplies. I had some Arteza markers that I never use. She wanted them, so I gave those to her. And an old sketchbook that had never been used. Just some various stuff like that, but it's always amazing how much stuff you accumulate. I mean, I keep, every time we go through something, I think, okay, I've made a big dent. And then I look around at how much is left to do. You guys are probably going to get tired of me talking about, oh, I went through this. Oh, I went through that. Because like I said, just you just don't realize how many things you collect when you stay in one place. Which is also sort of fueling my desire to buy a smaller place. Because I don't want to do this again if we have to move. We're, we're talking about possibly renting someplace when we first move, which is fine, but then we probably in all likelihood would move in the next couple of years again, which doesn't sound fun to pack up everything again, but I've moved more often than that. Heck, I think there was one year where I moved three times in one year. And I'm just one of those people, I do not like living out of a suitcase. Even when we stay in hotels and stuff, if we're like when we travel up to Canada, if we're going to be there for a week, I'll unpack everything because I hate living out of a suitcase. Not sure why, but I just don't enjoy it. I'm getting closer. I can see the end of the pile. Ooh, all four of these came off together. Get them all separated here. Again, I'm trying to keep them in order so that when I go to put them in, put the drills in them, I don't get confused because I am very easily confused these days. I like to play games to keep my mind sharp. I actually have been playing for a while, probably over a year. Wordle, do you guys know that game on the, well, it was originally its own game and then the New York Times bought it. I've continued to play it even after they bought it. And for a while there, it would still show you their, the stats, even though I don't have a subscription. I don't want one. But I noticed the other day that now it doesn't show me any of my stats because it used to show you like how many guesses it took you to guess the word and all of that. You can't see that anymore unless you sign up for an account with them. And I mean, it's like a free account, but I don't care. I don't need yet something else I need to keep track of. And I can still play it. It just doesn't show me the stats. So I play Wordle every day. My son was showing me this game called Connections, which is another game that the New York Times owns. So now he's got me hooked on playing that every day. So I played that one. That one I'm not as good at. I'm, I very rarely miss the Wordle. It'll still, it might be, it might take me all five tries or whatever it is, but I usually at least get the word. On Connections, there are some days where clearly my brain is not on the same wavelength as whoever makes those puzzles. And even after I see the answer, sometimes I'll be like, what? That makes no sense. So he was talking to me about that Monday when we were on our walk, if I'd done it yet. He does a daily crossword puzzle too. He likes to do the crossword puzzle to keep his brain sharp, he says. Like he needs to worry about that at 22, but if he enjoys it. So I started to tell you I was cleaning out my office 
got sidetracked by pencils and pens. I was cleaning out my office, which is also my craft room, which is also my filming studio setup, all that kind of stuff. And I have gone through more crafting things, more diamond painting things, and I have gathered up enough stuff, extras of things that I don't need or want to take with me to Canada. So I am going to be doing some additional mystery boxes. I've done these a couple of times before. So if you are interested in those, keep an eye out. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and slap that now. Because once I get all of them put together, a couple of them have already been spoken for, but once I get them put together, I've got, I think, four right now with a couple of them spoken for but I may have five or six by the time I'm finished going through everything. So if you would be interested, it'll just be extras of things, storage, pens, wax, washi, just diamond painting supplies that I have either a ton of duplicates of or I don't want, or for whatever reason, I just am not gonna take it with me. And I'll probably, once I get all of that put together, I've still got some stuff to go through. I've still got gosh probably two more items of furniture to go through storage and things before I know exactly what I have and what I'm getting rid of so once I have all that put together I'll I'll give you guys some updates on that so if you're interested I don't charge a lot for the boxes I think last time I did it was anywhere from three to ten dollars depending on the size of the box and then just shipping so I'm not trying to make a whole bunch of money off of these or anything just if somebody out there has a use for diamond painting stuff that I don't need or want anymore, then I'm happy with it to go to somebody who will get some good use out of it. All right, I'm getting close. That's color number 38, ready for 39. I am probably crazy to be kidding this one up because I am so behind with some of my other projects, but that's okay. I want to work on this one, which always means it goes faster. I am over halfway done with my Fox from Pam Diamond Painting, which I'm loving. And so once I get that one done, the plan is that I will spend some time concentrating on my Josephine wall. There is a J wall event going on in April and May. I would like to have it done by the end of May. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. I keep thinking to myself that maybe one of these days, these nights while hubby's gone and I can't sleep, I'll just stay up all night and diamond paint, do a 24 hour marathon like I did with Diana. I don't know if I wanna do that though, but we'll see. I do definitely need to spend some hours, put in some hours on that one so I can get it done. I think it's one of those things where you put stuff off because you it's gonna take so long and then when you actually sit down and do it, it doesn't take as long as you think. It doesn't keep me from procrastinating, but... And I haven't had to use, except for 310, I haven't had to use extra bottles for anything. Let me get these last stickers on here, because the ABs are also coming up. I got everything out of order here. These stickers are making me crazy. Like the very edges, it just didn't, whatever machine they used to cut it, didn't cut through all the way. So they're sticking together. Okay, so that's all the stickers. I'll just cut out this piece right here that's gonna go in my log book. I don't save these extra ones. I know lots of people do, but I don't. All right, let's get these last ones kitted up here. And then I can start on this one. I debated whether I wanted to do this one first or whether I just wanted to try and get all five of my five oldest finished first, but I've got two of my five oldest left to do. And even though one is a round, it's pretty confetti heavy. And the other one is a square. I think it's also gonna be kind of confetti heavy as well, but, and they're both kind of large. They're much larger than this one. And I don't think any of them have will have as many ABs as this one does. So that makes it a little bit more fun too. All right. Now I'm ready for, that was the last regular drill. Now I'm ready for all of the ABs. So let's see what I've got for ABs here. One of them tried to escape. 
that is one thing that I'm loving about the Pam diamond painting. It has eight, I think, ABs. And there's, it's not even the number of ABs. It's that there's just a ton of them actually in the diamond painting itself. There's a lot of white ABs, but it makes it really nice and sparkly and shiny. So I'm happy with how it's turning out. It's very pretty. So I've got plenty of extra bottles if I need them. This one feels kind of full, but let's see if I can get it all in one without spilling it everywhere. Okay, only lost one. There we go. I can't wait to see how these red ABs look on her dress. I think that's gonna be so pretty. All right, last two colors here and my last red AB. All right, so that is everything all kitted up. Let me kind of clean everything off, put some of the stuff away, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. I've got everything all kitted up. Now, I just kitted up in DMC order. I have tried doing it differently, but I diamond paint by symbol. So for me, I didn't find that it actually made a ton of difference to me personally, whether it was in alphabetical order or whatever. I mean, it made it slightly easier to find, but it's not really been that big of a deal. So I've got everything kitted up. I only have the one extra bottle for the 310. I've got three spares left. I did go ahead and cut this out. I actually have stopped using these stickers in my logbook. I usually just digitally add the photo of the painting to my logbook pages so that I don't have that extra thickness of a sticker. Because by the time you get to the end of a logbook, it does add up. So I've not done that, but I will keep these just so that I can keep it tucked in here. I'll just tuck it in the pouch so that I know that's the kit that these drills are for. And now she's all kitted up and ready to go. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, Thanks so much for watching.